Welcome, I'm Alok Zav, and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to build a base from scratch, what it takes and how to make it work. First, you're gonna go into the portable constructor and the resources that we need to build a base are iron, copper, silicon, stone and logs. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is select all objects and I'm gonna go to building blocks and I'm gonna craft a base donor. This is basically the core which is required for any base or ship. I got my base starter, so I'm gonna put it in. I really dug a little hole because the enemies will target this block. This is the most important block of a base. So after the core is in, I'm gonna select placeable on bases and gonna go into devices and I have to unlock a few things. So I'm gonna open up the tech tree on F3. I'm gonna select base and I'm gonna unlock the fuel tank, the generator, the small constructor, the cargo box and the food processor. And now I'm gonna craft a cargo box, a small generator and a fuel tank tier 1. So they're done. I got my cargo box right here. I'm gonna point at the thing and I'm gonna right click and choose this one because it's one of the biggest ones. So I'm gonna put it in right against the core. Also gonna put in the generator right there and the fuel tank too. I'm gonna try to fit it all in that level. There we go. So now I got the basic stuff. The core which is required, a power source, a fuel storage and storage for me. Next order of business. I'm gonna build some blocks to cover that thing up and create a little floor for my base. So I'm gonna go into building blocks with a filter still placeable on bases and I'm gonna craft a bunch of concrete blocks. For this you just need crushed stone. I've got my blocks so before I pick them up I'm gonna connect to this my box and now I can pick them up and I'm gonna use a drone because it's just easier. And I'm gonna make a little floor around this just to give it extra protection. The main components will be targeted by the enemy so it's a good idea to protect them. And the concrete is a sturdy material, it's stronger than steel, so and stone is readily available everywhere. Let's also make a little ramp as an entrance for the base. And there we go. So now next thing that I'm gonna do is a small constructor. I'm gonna go into devices, placeable on bases, and I'm gonna craft the small constructor and the fridge. They're done, so let's just put them in. This is basically my uh, second workbench because the first one is this portable constructor and the fridge, is obvious, will help me to prevent food from spoiling. So now that I actually have these two machines, it makes sense to try to power the base. And I'm gonna have to grab some fuel, so I'm gonna go into the portable constructor again, I'm gonna select all objects and the biofuel shows up in this components option and it's pretty easy to make because it only takes 0.5 so I'm gonna do about 50 of it. I got my fuel so now I'm gonna point at the base with my crosshair and I'm gonna press P. It opens up this menu I'm gonna go down here to fuel press manage and I'm gonna dump all this biofuel into this little box. So this goes into the fuel tank that I previously put in. So now I can actually power the base. There are two ways. You can just point at the base and press Y. You see the lights coming on. You can always also turn it off with Y. Or you can do the same thing as before and press P and turn the power right here. So now the base is powered up. Now that I've got power in the base, I can actually put things in the fridge, even though these are already spoiled. When I find some food, I can place it in the fridge and it will keep the food from spoiling. Uh, but also, the spoiled food will be useful to do farms later on, so it's not too bad. Of course, when the, power when the base runs out of power, the fridge will turn off. So, I would also like to craft another thing in the portable constructor. I'm gonna go to bases again devices which is a clone chamber which is basically a respawning point so I got my clone chamber I'm gonna put it in 
and this will allow me to pick up the tent and I'll still have this permanent respawning spot. Another thing that I would like to craft, I can't craft in the portable constructor. So I'm actually gonna transfer a bunch of stuff into my normal box. Uh, I'm gonna grab all the iron, silicon and copper and also the logs and also these small components that I found in that container over there. I'm gonna put it all in here because the food processor has to be crafted in the small constructor so I'm gonna access the small constructor I'm gonna set the input box as the box that I had all the things and the output the same one because I don't have another box so I'm gonna do the same and I go to placeable on bases devices and now the food processor shows right here so I'm gonna craft one in the meanwhile in the portable constructor I'm also gonna do a door and after the door I think I'm gonna craft a few more concrete blocks to close the base off and protect the devices that are inside my food processor is done so I'm gonna put it in right here and the food processor works the same way as the constructor it needs an input box and I'm gonna use the fridge and the output the same one so the food processor will allow me to do all this food all these mats and also seeds for the farm last but not least I'm gonna connect to my box again I'm gonna pick up the concrete blocks and I got more here and I'm also gonna put in the door so let's just put a nice door if you right click it shows up different options I'm gonna use this one got myself the door so now let's just cover this thing up around and call this a proper base and there it is, all of a sudden I'm enclosed, I'm protected from enemy attacks, from predator attacks, I got everything I need. I got a cargo box, I got a fuel uh, generator, I got a power generator and a fuel tank, I got the food processor for food, meds and seeds, I got a small constructor to craft devices, weapons, ammo and all kinds of different stuff, I got a spawning point, I got a fridge, and I got walls and a door so that's how you build a base from scratch there are other things that you can build later on which I'll show like the wireless connection like setting up defenses with turrets but this was just a video about how to build a simple base from scratch and here it is thank you for watching and until next time